Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Carolyn and Her Clothes. So this is a viewer request. People wanted to see what my sandal collection looked like. And after you see it, you're gonna think I need therapy. So I live in New Jersey and you know, there's can be some times I can't even wear these till later May, all right? That's how cold it is here. Sometimes we have a beautiful May and I can break them out like end of April, beginning of May. Sometimes it's not until like Memorial Day and sometimes we even have cold and awful Memorial Days. So, you know, I can't even wear them then. So, you know, maybe if I'm lucky from May through part of September, I can wear my sandals or even maybe if I'm lucky end of September. Um, so not even half a year, and I have a lot of them, more than my booties, all right? So let's go through them, all right? First, I'm gonna talk about my black sandals. All right, these are a pair by Calvin Klein. Um, gosh, these probably must be five or six old, years old, and they have like these little O-rings and a big chunky heel, and it goes around the ankle. And keep in mind, when I'm showing you these, these exclude any kind of like peep toe pumps or the peep toe booties I previously showed you. It's what I kind of classify as a sandal. So typically an open back, not always, but typically an open back and open toe cage, All right? The next black one I have is a Franco Sardo. Very similar to the other ones. It has a stick, thick stacked heel and it has Velcro that closes it here and it just has the three bands. Okay, next one is by Nine West, and this is a wedge, black, and again, it has the, the band here and three bands here. And all these are many, many years old. I would probably, all three, about five or six years old, if not more. Um, next up is another pair of black ones I have that are, are dressier. They're, um, who are these by? Nine West as well, and these, these are probably, Gosh, probably a good 10 years old. And like, I only wear these for like a dressier occasions, okay? Next up, moving on to my brown sandals, all right? This pair is by Alfani, which is a Macy's brand. Again, thicker heel, buckle on the side, and then the crisscross here in the front. Next pair of brown ones I have are pretty similar. <laughs> Um, Kayla from Kayla's Closet got these in a trunk. I don't think she kept hers, but I was like, I have to have them. So these are by Michael Kors, all right? They're the plain band here, and they come up around here, and they have a buckle over here. Um, these I got, not this past summer, the summer before, all right? So, I mean, they've been warm, but barely, because I haven't been to work. If I had been going to work, things would be different, all right? So I do regret purchasing these, because they're so similar to these. As a matter of fact, one day I went out shopping and I was wondering why I was lopsided. Well, because I had one of these on one foot and one of these on the other foot. <laughs> Two different shoes, but the color is very similar, as you can see. They're very similar shoes. So, yeah, I do look at bought. <laughs> then the next pair I have are these from White House Black Market. Again, pretty similar in brown color, thick heel. Um, you know, single band here has like little studs going across here in the toe band and a little buckle on the side. All right, and again, had those for years. Next pair is a wedge, and I think these are Calvin Klein. Yes, there are Calvin Klein. They're cute, but I have to say the, the back of them hurt my feet, so when I wear them, I have to like put something back there. They're a very, very tall wedge, okay? All right, let's see what's going on next. I think you guys have seen these before. These are a navy wedge that I have. Um, I got these at M Macy's for like like 15 bucks. American rag, it's called, okay? They're cheap and they're material, all right? Maybe like a faux suede on top. And honestly, they're starting to look a little beat up and probably at the end of the summer, I'll probably be looking for a replacement for these and they're navy. Okay, next pair I have are these are in denim. Um, these are also by Michael Stars. You know, I think if you, not Michael Stars, Michael Kors, you've seen these with the zipper. They have many different colors, but this is the de a denim color, okay? Again, the thick heel. I don't do well in stilettos, so hence, you know, these heels. Another pair of blue ones, which I got two years ago or two summers ago. Again, kind of regretting because I never returned to the office. These are Vince Camuto. I love the heel on these. If I had been going to the office, these would be great, but unfortunately I am not going to the office anymore. So having shoes like this, it would be very limited just for me to go out to dinner in them and that's pretty much it. Okay, um, let's see, next up. 
Okay, pink ones. I got these from a Stitch Fix. These are Toms, okay? And they're a wedge, espadrille style. They're cute, I wear them. They're a little bit tight around my toes, to be honest with you, but they're doable. Next up in red is another pair of Vince Camuto, similar to the Toms, wedge style, peep toe. Um, I don't know if it's real or faux suede, and buckle, okay? Next up, uh, Stitch Fix, okay? I got these from Stitch Fix. They're from Report Footwear. They're snakeskin, wedge, extremely comfortable. They have like the, the, not lug sole, but like a thicker sole down at the bottom, so it's kind of like the newer style. Buckle on the side, very comfortable, snakeskin. Okay, uh, another pair of White House Black Market, silver slide-ons, okay? Shorter, stacked heel, um, silver. These are good to be wear like anything dressy, all right? And actually, I'm so glad I just pulled this out of my closet because I forgot about these. And my daughter's graduating high school and I have these two dresses. I was contemplating which one should I wear and these would go perfect with either of them. So, so glad I pulled these out of my closet and now I realize I don't need any shoes. <laughs> Next up, also from a White House Black Market, these are like um, like a material and gold. So it's like, like um, they're gold shoes, but they're not completely gold. There's just like a tad of gold. And they're a very modest wedge in like a wood bottom. Very comfortable. Um, and of course they have a buckle that closes, okay? Next up, these are from years and years old, Chinese laundry, extremely high heel, very clunky to walk in. But look at this, how cute is this, <laughs> right? Um, I've worn these quite a few times. Um, not for very long each time because they're not exactly the easiest to walk in, but I just think these are adorable. They're very high heel, gosh, at least four inches, and a cute little bow with a little bling on it. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Here is a pair of INC strappy sandals with the back. INC is a Macy's brand, and they're just plain white. And again, these I could wear that white dress. You see where I'm still looking thing and I don't have shoes for this dress. I have plenty of shoes to wear at the dress. The silver ones would be better because it's an outdoor ceremony. So um, those I don't think would sink too much. Another pair, worn these a couple times, but again, I thought I was gonna be returning to the office. So these are like a borderline sandal. They're almost a shoe, right? But the, because the back is closed, isn't closed up, I consider these a sandal. They were like in a periwinkle blue, they're by Vince Camuto. Very cute, like these. Okay, next up, what do we got here? These are Nine West, they're ivory. I think I got these via Amazon at some point. Not very comfortable, but again, I was wearing these when I was in the office, so it was fine for when I was wearing them, okay? I'm not gonna get rid of them. You never know, right? You never know. So yeah, pretty, pretty substantial stiletto type of heel. Okay, okay, these have been worn a lot. They're very comfortable, they're Lucky Brand, and look how funky they are. <laughs> they're different, right? I, I, they're very, very lightweight. They got a cork bottom, leather around here, but it's a cute little um, turquoise blue and green, um, what do they call it, chevron style. Very cute. Next up, white, Steve Madden slides, perfect. These are what I would wear running around on the weekends. This thicker heel, um, very soft and supple up here. Um, like these, like them a lot. Next up, okay, these are Dolce Vita. I think I got these directly from the Dolce Vita site this past summer. And uh, yeah, they're cute. They're a light, very neutral, light colored snake skin. All right, and they're, um, I guess you call them a pito mule. I don't know, yeah, pito mule, mule maybe. I call them a sandal, okay? Next up, it keeps going, ladies. Next up, Steven by Steve Madden, okay? These are nice and comfortable. I like these shoes. They're, um, for me, a lower heel, maybe that's like two and a half inches. They do come up all the way here and they have a little sling back, very comfortable, um, doable shoe. We don't walk the city in them, but they're, they're doable. Okay, let's see. Okay, 
these. These are by Mark Fisher. I think I got them last year in a trunk or maybe on my own when the braided style was all thing. Um, they're cute. Um, comfortable, eh, you know, but they're cute. I would wear them and they're a nice ivory neutral color. Very cute. Okay, so, oh, no, 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 no. There's two more here, a couple more. All right, so then this is uh, Madden Girl, and I had these for nine million years. They're like a taupe color, very high heel. But again, I kind of double bought. Look at the colors on this. They're, they're pretty much identical. Granted, these are a different style. They're almost like a booty, but I consider them a sandal because they're so open, all right? The toe's open, the whole front here's open, and even the back's open, all right? So... These are very similar. These are by Vince Camuto. These are by Steve Madden. All right, next up are my flip-flop sandals. All right, if I'm gonna wear a pair of shorts, obviously I'm not gonna wear any heels. All right, first up, um, these are by Steve Madden. I got them in a trunk club when there was absolutely nothing in the box to purchase and I had to purchase something to save my $20 styling fee. I think these were $17, so. Save myself money. These are by uh, Circus by Steve Madden. These are very comfortable. They're just flip flops. If you don't have these, these are like, like a Tory Burch kind of like knockoff. I highly recommend them. They, they wear well and they're comfortable and they were like, like 35 bucks, so totally worth it. Next up, uh, Dolce Vita. I got these at a DSW. They're just a plain black thong flip flop. Nothing really exciting, very minimalist. Again, these are things that I wear like with shorts. Oh goodness, a couple more over here. All right, next one is Circus by Sam Edelman. They're in silver, they have a little knot here. And my guess I got these through Amazon, I'm not even 100% sure. And then lastly, I'm throwing it in the pile here, but it's really nothing exciting. This is what I wear to the pool and the beach. <laughs> they're rubber flip flops and they're by Clark's. Uh, extremely comfortable, soft and cushy, and I just have these in white, and I believe I got these through DSW. So I'm looking down here, and there is a pile of shoes at my feet, and I just have one of each pair. I mean, it's like a mound. Um, I need help, that's it. No more shoes for me, at least no more sandals for me, and I think no more boots for me, all right? I, I do think I can use some closed toe shoes, or I can justify a couple pairs of closed toe shoes, but I think I am set on sandals. <laughs> Let me know your comments and thoughts below. Thank you again for returning subscribers. I appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, what's holding you back? I'm free, I do shopping hauls, try-ons. I'm starting to go into my, my diet and my lifestyle a little bit. Um, I'm also doing some styling videos because I'm on a no-buy for the next two months. Hang with me, see what I got. Maybe you want it too. If you've already subscribed, thank you. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, in addition to subscribing, click that notification bell. Take care and until next time.